Hello, today I would like to present you how to make your own 24 volt DC power cable for this absolutely beautiful vintage military battery charger that I'm still using and I still enjoy very much and that's because how small it is, here is my hand, it is extremely nice and convenient device and I'm using it for recharging military nickel metal hybrid batteries that looks like this and here you've got the model number. This charger cannot be used with the latest lithium version so it is more like a old school stuff but for those batteries it is 100% compatible. This charger is absolutely beautiful and that's because it can be powered from AC or DC. Here we've got AC plug and the power cord is being attached to body of that charger. And here we've got information that it's going to be accepting from 100 volt to 250 AC. And here we've got the AC switch. But here we've got something extremely funny. We've got connector that you can find on computers that is going to be accepting AC cord. As you can see, I've got absolutely no problem plugging it in. And you could technically plug it into your wall. But if you do it, you are going to be burning your charger. And that's because this is not your AC input. This is 24 volt DC input. So it is a crazy stuff that they make it that way because if you plug it here you will burn it. So it is accident waiting to happen. Why we are going to be interested in that port? That's because it is going to be great for recharging from your DC installation and this can be your vehicle or your solar system so you can skip the AC inverter and get better efficiency. But for that we have to build our own cable that is going to be mating with those terminals. First step is going to be finding correct plug and it's being called C13 and it looks like this. This is do-it-yourself version because you can unscrew it and attach your own cord. So this is exactly what you want. And it's going to be perfectly mating with that socket just like that. The second thing that I'm going to be using is this beautiful crocodile clip cable that I've got from some sort of charger and we are going to be joining them together so I will be able to hook up into any vehicle battery and use it from DC. So this is project for today. This device requires correct polarity so we have to figure out on which of those pins we've got plus. Here I've got the technical schematic with our drawing and we've got information that we've got positive and negative pole, but this is view from bottom of this panel. So if we lift it like this, we would be seeing that. So our positive is going to be actually that pin. We can confirm that by following the positive line that should go into our fuse. And if you take a look, here we've got the spare one and it is here. So that's confirming that we've got it upside down. So if I will grab my multimeter, I should read continuity between that pin and our fuse holder. Let's try to do it right now. Here we've got our continuity. I will remove the DC fuse just like that and I will probe here and inside the fuse holder and as you can see we've got continuity so we are 100% correct that this one is going to be our positive. Let me put back our fuse, this is our DC fuse and here we've got the AC fuse and on those holders we've got a spare one. So if our plug goes like this, our positive is going to be on the neutral. So let's try to disassemble that plug. Let's begin our disassembly process by unscrewing 
this plug and let's take a look what we have got inside so we've got that beautiful strain relief we've got our holder and here we are going to be screwing it in so it's presenting like that let me grab our wire let's try to strap that wire so we go like this and as you can see we've got absolutely beautiful copper the neutral was our positive if i recall correctly let's make sure that we add this strain relief element i do not put trust in that screw so what i will do i will solder directly into it i deeply believe it's it's going to be much safer that way but it is my personal opinion so if you would like to screw it down then absolutely no problem let's begin with adding a little bit of solder and making sure that this wire is nicely thin just like that let's do the second one the same time absolutely beautiful here we add a little bit of solder perfect this is going to be our positive one yeah i would like to have it safe and be able to carry high current so this is exactly what i would like to see let's make sure it fit perfectly well yes it will fit then we do exactly the same thing with the second one I will first unscrew it then I will use the tool to nicely take it out just like that and we nicely screw it down here is going to be our negative terminal we've got it absolutely nicely thin we go like this and we've got absolutely beautiful job so here goes our negative one let me nicely put it in so it goes like this here should go our positive just like that and here we are going to be adding our locking element that have to go like this so it's going to be preventing by any pulling force let me try to screw it down okay here we go with the second screw and we go like this and let's see is it going to be pull absolutely not we can close it down just like that your friend idiot of course forget this strain relief and we have to open it again so this is absolutely not the correct way to do it you should not subscribe for seeing something like this this is a sloppy job okay here we go and tell me how does it presenting because in my personal opinion here we've got a absolutely beautiful tool here i've got this absolutely beautiful 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery and this is going to be our power source with use of those absolutely beautiful alligator clips we've got ability to attach 
into basically any terminal just like that. Because I do not trust myself, we are going to be making sure that we've got that correct polarity. So we go into DC and this plug goes into that orientation and on that pin we would like to have positive. So I go like this and here I will be measuring our negative. And as you can see we've got 27 volt and we've got the incorrect polarity. So I will turn it off. I will plug it like this. We've got our DC power and let's try to flick the switch. Magic smoke or not? Absolutely not. We've got a power, power indicator, fan, and we've got blinking indicators here that are telling us that we are ready to recharge. Let's try to attach our batteries. That one is being discharged. So we are going to be nicely dropping it here. That one is almost fully charged, but we are going to be adding it like that. Let's grab our current clamp. I will go into 20 amp range. Into DC, I will zero it. And we are going to be observing the current that is going to be flowing from the battery just as experiment. And let's try to power it on. And can we see our current? So right now we've got 0 0.6 amp. It will... It should pump much more current. Give it a moment. And as you can see, we are pulling 6 amp times 27 volt. And you can calculate the power. But as you can see, everything is working. So this is how you can build your own cable and recharge your military batteries from 24 volt DC power source. And this can be your battery or your solar installation. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.